everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would have a little bit of fun using some products that, you know, YouTube made me buy, such as the La Prairie Skin Caviar Concealer Foundation. Yep, Mel Thompson, you are responsible for my love of this product. And then I brought out some others that you guys, I kind of walked you through some of the YouTubers that I got really entranced with that made me buy many of these products. And then also sharing a few of my favorites that uh, I got along the way. And these are things that I still use. So these are no regrets. These are products that I'm glad I bought. I still use them in my repertoire but kind of some oldies but goodies. So if you like these kind of videos and you wanna see how I got this look, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and then let's get started. Okay guys, let's start with the Bougie La Prairie Skin Caviar Concealer and Foundation SPF 15. Mel Thompson was responsible for me to get this. I had been lusting after this for years and she had, she still to this day says it's her favorite foundation. So of course I finally got it about a year ago, you guys, or, or maybe anyways, at least nine months ago, I would say. And I need to like use this. So I have it in warm beige and I'm gonna put this on. It is a really good foundation and I really like it. So I usually just take it from the wand. You do not need much. Like that probably could have done my whole face because as if you can see, I got a big dab on my, um, on my nose. We're gonna start with that and then we can blend it out. Um, add more if we need to. So you guys, this is, you know what? No, it is just an expensive foundation that I had to like kind of get because I had, you know, everybody who does get it really likes it. I do really enjoy this. It does have fragrance in it, so I cannot wear it every single day. Um, but it gives you, your skin just looks kind of amazing with it. So I, um, the good thing for me <laughs> and maybe for you too, is that the La Prairie, um, powders and their foundations are very heavily scented. And so I have been intrigued. Everybody loves that new La Prairie powder. Um, they say the finish is absolutely amazing. But for me, the scent alone, I did go check it out, but it literally was so strong that I knew um, it wasn't going to be for me. Just too expensive, number one, for a powder and <laughs> for myself. And then also uh, the fragrance, I, you know, it just was very strong just from opening up the cap. And I just, that is one thing I cannot do. So I do wear this, you guys. It just sort of makes your skin look good. But guess what? There's lots of foundations that do that. I thought I would pull it out and use it because I've gotten a few questions on an old review that I did. And I thought I would show you because in that one I used kind of a lot of it and you really don't need to use much to kind of get the effect. I am going to use the concealer. The concealer is not my favorite. It's a little bit waxy and dry. It works well, um, but I just find like out of all, you know, I'm not a huge concealer girl anyways. It just wasn't my favorite formula because you could justify buying a really nice, it has some skincare benefits in it. Um, and it does have a really nice finish to the skin. But I think that if you're thinking, oh, but I'm getting the concealer as well. You, I would definitely, this is one that I would go and get a sample and make sure before you purchase it. But you know how sometimes you just have to get things out of your system. Like you've read about it, you've heard about it for years and you're just like, I've got to do it. <laughs> I've got to try it. That is how this one was for me because I literally had wanted it for years. So, I, and I do really enjoy it. Okay guys, I'm gonna bring you up just a little bit close, kind of show you 
the finish of it. What I found is that as it sinks into the skin and wears, it has beautiful longevity. By the end of the day, your skin is still going to look the same. So that is a big plus with that. And I do have to admit, <laughs> just like Mel, I tend to get compliments on my skin when I wear this foundation. So that isn't the be all end all, but it's just kind of funny um, that of course it's the one, you know, with the kind of bougie foundation that I tend to get that. So, <laughs> oh, but anyways, I thought I would go ahead, wear that today. Then I was gonna bring out an oldie but a goodie. And you guys, I still absolutely love this. If you had watched any of my old, um, old videos, you would see that I, this was in huge rotation and I got onto this because of Andrea Ali and you guys, she's so fun to watch, but she completely has this calming presence about her. And when she puts things on her skin, I just immediately want to go and purchase. But she was going on and on about how natural looking this, um, bronzer was and i have to agree i love this and i also love to layer this a little bit i just find it really easy to use so we're gonna put that on my skin today and um but yes someone had asked do i still bring this out um yes i do obviously recently i have been into that chanel bronzer um, that I've really been enjoying, but this one still comes out into rotation. And you guys, I think I'm almost out of it. That's, um, that is part of the problem. Would I repurchase? Absolutely. Yes, I would. That is, that is, this is one of my top favorites. I just think if you can see, it's a nice color, but if you can see on the skin, it looks very natural. It doesn't look too bronzy or too fake. Um, and I just, I still absolutely love this bronzer and it's also great for layering. So if you wanted to, this is one that you could use and then also, uh, put a powder on top of it, like a powder brush, a, a powder bronzer. So this is another one of my oldies, but goodies. Okay. Who's excited for the Nordstrom sale? <laughs> I'm kind of bummed. I thought before that they had actually released where we could start to be searching things um, before we bought, like kind of like, I felt like I was able to look at things and kind of decide before I got to go to the store, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I am going to use my absolute favorite Pillow Talk quad. You guys, this one, um, I. This was very well loved for many, many months. I still pull this out. This is sort of like when I'm wanting just to do a really soft, basic eye look. This is what I pull out. Now in the Nordstrom sale, they have a spe special Charlotte Tilbury palette. It looks like it's all of these colors and maybe one or two from that Stars in the Eyes palette, which I already own. So I think I'm gonna have to pass on that, but I have to be honest, if you do not have this or you missed out on that Stars uh, in the, the Eyes and the Stars palette, um, I would definitely pick it up because this one is just so easy to wear, so pretty, just a really soft, feminine, pretty eye. I really like it. Just taking that light shade over here and placing that kind of all over lightly on the lid as well up into that, just a nice little wash. That has a teeny bit of shimmer to it. Not, or satin, I should say. I wanna hear what is on everybody's list for the sale themselves. I'm gonna share mine as well. <laughs> But again, I'm hoping that they are gonna put up on the website. I'm gonna take this little pink mauve shade over here and I'm going to just kind of come over and again, bringing that into the crease. And then I'm gonna go into that brown shade here, I guess they call it the smoke shade, coming over to the outer corner here, and then again, just kind of pulling it up into that crease. 
Oftentimes, you guys, I will mix both of those. This is just such an easy, pretty day-to-day -day eye. So that Charlotte Tilbury, and then they have the Pillow Talk set, which looks amazing as well. I have the Pillow Talk lipstick, and I have the Pillow Talk lip sheet. I don't have the lip gloss, so I was curious as to whether um, that is one of my favorite lipsticks. I'm gonna take this guy over here and I'm gonna run that smoke shade on the bottom and the top. Okay, you guys, I have got that palette on. I was gonna use a little bit of a different sparkle on my lid today because I was pulling out favorites. And I believe that I was wanting to purchase these because of the Beauty Professor. Longtime fan of Rachel. Um, and I believe she was raving about this one is in Reflect. And I still love this, you guys. It's kind of essentially the same shade as in that Charlotte Tilbury palette. But for some reason, this one doesn't get that. It doesn't have a lot of fallout for me. So, um... Sometimes when I use, even with the Tom Ford and the Charlotte Tilbury, when I use this little guy over here, sometimes I get a little bit of fallout, whereas I find that these scattered lights by Hourglass um, just don't have that same fallout. If you can kind of see this, it's so pretty, you guys. So easy. I'm just going to take a little dot. And essentially, you guys, this little color is very similar to that one or there's a couple other ones that you could use. But this just has a really fine texture that you don't need to use like a, um, you know, wet your, you can literally use it with your fingers without it coming all over your under eyes. I'm gonna close my eyes. You guys, those are just super pretty. You may already have that in your collection and I was just like, we gotta pull these out and use it. So pretty, I love those. Okay, back in the day when I first got this guy, I didn't really wear a lot of eyeliner, so I just used the shadows that came in here as my eyeliner. But now, since you guys have gotten me, now I feel naked without eyeliner. <laughs> so I pulled out two of my favorites. You won't be surprised, you guys. This is Purple Chalk and Black Wood. These are the Chanel Stilo U Waterproof eyeliners. I just love them. They're like perfect. And I'm really falling in love with black wood. My other one that I always used previously that would look great with this eye look is Cassis. Um, that's sort of a deeper aubergine um, color that would look fantastic with this eye look as well. I am going to tight line into a light line of the black wood on the top and then um, put the purple chalk in my waterline. I just feel like that brightens it up. And you guys, that one has, it does have a teeny bit of sparkle, not sparkle, I feel like it lightens up your eyes. You know how sometimes people put white in their um, waterline? I feel like it has that same effect, but with a slight purple shade. I am going to clean up my brows. I'm going to use my Chantecaille Faux Seals Longest Lashes. I still have to tell you, this is my favorite mascara. I've been kind of tinkering around with other ones, and I keep coming back to this guy. I just love it. So bringing that out, and this was from Tati. I remember watching this, and Tati was sort of embarrassed, but that she loved this mascara so much that I remember having to run out um, and get it. And I have to be honest, I love it. So um, I know it's so expensive, but for some reason it works well for my lash. For blush, I am going to be using the NARS Orgasm. I prefer this classic in the liquid form. A little goes a long way, you guys, but this is such a pretty, blush. I still love it. And just going to put a little bit of this pop of color on today. And I, you guys, these blushes last forever. 
and don't worry we're gonna make it less clown like but I love the way this just sort of looks really fresh and melds into the skin and it stays all day so that's one thing I would say you know how sometimes cream blushes tend to kind of just get eaten away by the end of the day these little guys here uh, the this liquid form really does stay it's really pretty always love a little classic let that sink in okay we are going to powder down i'm going to be using the la mer powder had a request i really do like this powder so this one you guys i still have some in here this was i never had the original powder wasn't a powder girl back then so didn't care that much about it so everybody was saying how this was not good <laughs> they, why did they change it um and let me just be honest yeah i had to get the brush so i felt like i needed to buy the powder because i really wanted the brush and i was like what am i going to use this for this brush i think is worth the money um i love it and whenever i kind of feel like i need to buy other brushes i tend to forget that you know you really don't for a powder i just love it it's big fluffy um and this powder has a little bit it does mattify you guys but it has a little bit of glow um in it as well you can actually see the particles and let me see it's not going to show up on my skin you guys i'm sorry but it has a little bit um of I just don't find it too mattifying, if that makes sense. There tends to be some light reflective properties in it, and it is just quite pretty. So I'm just gonna put that down here and set everything. So yes, I can't do a comparison because I just got the original La Mer, <laughs> but it is still one of the powders that I pull out and use. Just a little bit of it. But you guys, if anything, if you have been wanting this brush, I have to say yes. Even if you're going to use it for other purposes, this has been a fantastic brush that I have not regretted buying whatsoever. Then I am going to take a little bit of this By Terry Compact. Um, this is a Rose Gleam Powder. You guys, this is just sort of a pretty highlighter slash blush that I think is going to be pretty. I'm gonna take this, as you can see, I haven't used a whole lot of this. <laughs> you can still see the little by Perry in it. Um, and this, I remember, just didn't have a lot of payoff as far as color, it's just pretty. I kinda kinda put a little bit of this on as a blush topper. It's just gonna kinda give your cheeks a little bit of a glow. Um, and I think this, again, I was attracted to all of these powders. Um, there was a couple things, the Dior highlighter that we'll be using in a minute and the By Terry powders that I was influenced by that Lydia Elise Millen. I used to watch her all the time, you guys. I still love her. I just haven't watched um, her recently. I need to go do that, but I just think she's just a beautiful woman. <laughs> uh, you're easily influenced by her wonderful life. Um, and then this was one of her favorite highlighters and I have this in 001 and this is the Nude Air Luminizer. I believe this is still available. I don't think this was limited edition and I'm just going to take a little bit of this as highlighter. We are getting our little glow on today. I would love to hear what things you guys were influenced by some of these uh, you know, the Tatis, <laughs> some of the big channels. I just laugh because I'd be like, ooh, I have to go get that. I'm gonna take a little bit of this highlighter here. I'm gonna just put a teeny bit up here by my brow bone up here just to highlight just a little bit. Then for lips, you guys, I am going to use um, a lip veil, and I can't remember who I was influenced by. I think it's probably Michelle. Uh, Wong. She loves the Chantecaille lip veils. This particular color is in Old Rose. I don't know if this was a specific one of hers, but just the overall, I remember her talking about them because we tend to like the same sort of, uh, that kind of balmy sheer lipstick. 
and I'm just gonna dab that on and yes you guys I love this formulation I think someone was asking me uh, there was a new collection that was released but I felt like the colors were a little bit bright so I did not get those but then I ordered the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks so when mine shows up you guys will take a peek uh, but this color was just literally, I, I think I've gone through a couple different tubes of it. It is just like your perfect pink rose nude. Then one last little mention that I think is so funny, but you guys, I always like makeup by Tiffany D. Um, she was just, I still love watching her videos, but I always, I really enjoyed her because she didn't have big lips like myself. And she was always raving about the Dior Lip Maximizer and that she felt like it gave her a little bit more lips and then I had to run out and get it. I have it in Desert Beige, the classic pink. I believe this is the apricot, but this is one of my favorite lip gloss, luminizer, volumizer things. Um, the other one that I mentioned is the Hourglass unreal volumizing lip gloss you guys these i love and my favorite is halo um but today we're gonna use this okay you guys this is the final look using some of my favorite oldies but giddy goodies and ones that literally have, were completely like youtube made me buy it uh, products but i have to tell you so fun to pull these out again because i still love all of them and i have these are like tried and true products that i still use um i go through phases but literally like this combo this was months and months and months of using this um and i still love it so it isn't that um when i'm not using some of these things doesn't mean that i don't love them anymore it just means i'm trying some new products you guys, next up, we will walk through some of the Nordstrom things that are on my wish list. That'll be kind of fun, and I want to hear about yours, too. So, this is coming up. That's going to be amazing. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I'll talk to you guys soon.